Hello everyone and welcome to this video about your loved ones. I'm really being guided to share some signs with you today about the way your loved ones who've passed over communicate with you on the physical plane. This time of year it brings up memories, it brings up feelings we've been through Christmas time and New Year ahead and we can really start wondering about our loved ones in heaven, wondering how they are, if they miss us and the memories sometimes can come through and crush our soul because we miss that person so much and wish that they were there. Well, the loved ones in heaven are always around you and the angels always help them to come through and give us signs because they are watching over us always and want us to be happy because when they transition over, they are completely safe. They are fine, they are love and light and they are where they are meant to be. It's us left here that struggle. We struggle, we worry, we wonder how we can go on because we miss that person so much and wish that they were still here. So they reassure us all the time with signs. We just have to be open to what we're seeing. And sometimes we can be shown signs, but we're a little bit too busy in our lives to see or to notice what's going on. And that can be because we're on our phone, we're not paying attention, or we're just busy within our everyday, day-to-day -day life, running around doing a hundred things at once. So I'd like to share with you 10 signs that are real signs that show you your loved ones are with you. And I want to share number one, the most beautiful sign that they come to you in dreams. Now it's not very often. And it's usually such a beautiful dream, you will remember it forever. This has happened twice for me. My father, my beautiful dad, my daddy, has been past 20 years this March. And that's a long time. And throughout this time, I've had two dreams that have been significant to me and him. But I'd like to share one with you now because it will help you to see and feel the power of heaven and how they can connect with you at the right time to bring in reassurance and how magical it really is. When my dad was living, I used to cut his hair and he had beautiful white silvery hair and I used to cut his hair and we'd have a laugh and we'd talk and then obviously, you know, when he passed away, I missed him so much and I felt for a while like I'd been abandoned. And I healed and grew from that and learned from that. And now I bless him and that connection every day. And there was one specific time in my life when I was feeling a bit lost and alone. And I asked dad to show me he was with me. And a few nights later, I had a dream. And he didn't speak to me in this dream, but he didn't need to. He was showing me his presence. We were together and he was beckoning me to cut his hair. I sat on his knee, passed me the pair of scissors and I got up and I cut his hair and it was a beautiful dream. And I dreamt that I was cutting his hair and then it ended it. We didn't speak, we just shared that, that connection. And then the next day in the physical and reality, I was finding white silvery hairs all over my clothes all that day. And that was a huge sign that that wasn't a dream. That was a physical representation of our connection. It was my dad telling me that I am safe, you know, that I can trust him, that he is with me and that there's nothing to fear. And your loved one will come to you in dreams if you open your heart. And you can ask Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, and Archangel Azrael, the comforter of human souls, to bring your loved ones through in a very calm way. And that way will be in a dream. So if you've had a dream about a loved one and you felt that energy, that's a sign from heaven, sign number one, that your loved one is with you. Sign number two is feathers. They will shower you with feathers and it will happen in unusual ways at unusual times. Have you heard about feathers coming down in a place where there are no birds? 
where there could be no physical way he could get there. My beautiful mum received a feather in her living room on the carpet. There's no physical way that feather could have got in the house, but it got there. The angels will work magic for you. And if you're missing a loved one, if you're wanting to know that they are there, then they will work with the angels to bring feathers in. Because your loved ones are like angels. And they will guide you and be a comfort to you and guide you and show you the way. So just like angels, they can show you feathers and they will land where you are to let you know that they are near so whenever you see a feather, and it may be a significant colour, it may mean something to you. If you're thinking about a loved one at that moment, that's a sign from them that they are with you and you're okay. Sign number three is pennies. And you've heard it, pennies from heaven. People pick up pennies because it's come from above. Well, pennies is a really good way that your loved ones can get your attention. If you start seeing pennies, coins, anything specific of any kind, that's a sign from your loved one that they are with you. And they are dropping signs that you are protected and that you are supported financially and the universe has got your back. So if you start finding coins, especially pennies, these really are pennies from heaven. And your loved ones are dropping them around you to let you know that you are safe, supported and that there's no need to worry about anything in your life and that they are with you every step of the way. Sign number four is birds. Birds. Birds are like messengers. Now angels are messengers of heaven but birds are messengers of the divine. They connect with heaven on a daily basis to allow you to shine so that they can show you that your loved ones are with you. And this can be birds, birds of peace, birds that have special meaning to you, especially if a loved one had birds or loved a specific bird that will be shown to you. And that takes me on to sign five, which is robins. At Christmas time and during this period in the new year, our loved ones love to show us robins because it's a great sign of unconditional love. It's a great sign of the connection because robins have a red breast and that's like the blood connection between you and your loved one. Even if this isn't a blood connection, it's the feeling of the love. The love is real and the red breast signifies that love. And the angels will bring robins through to you to show you your loved one is thinking of you and feeling of you. And this happens to me at Christmas time. And to my mum, you know, we see robins on Christmas day and that's a sign that we are watched over by loved ones. So next time you're out and about, if you see a robin, just stop and think who's communicating with you at that moment. Who wants you to know that they are there because you were loved and special. So beautiful. Sign number six is songs. And, you know, the universe is always communicating with us through music. We hear music telepathically between our friends, our family, loved ones, beloved but for your loved ones in heaven, they love to give you signs through songs, especially songs that connect you directly with them and the memory of them. If there's a special song that you play together or if there's something that reminds you specifically of them, they will play that. Just like the angels will play you a song about angels to let you know that they are there. Your loved ones will do this in beautiful ways and it will be repetitive because sometimes our ego can play tricks on us and say, oh, you've imagined that or that's a coincidence. There are no coincidences, only synchronicities. So trust in what you're hearing because the angels in heaven and all of your loved ones love to communicate with you through music. So if you're hearing music of any kind and it's reminding you of your loved one, that's a huge sign from above that they are there. And it could even be if you're asking a question, if you're wanting to know a solution to something, 
or if you're asking them directly to answer your prayer and you hear a song that answers that question, that's coming through from your loved one answering your prayer. So beautiful. Sign seven, and I have this one a lot, by the way, smells. If there's a certain smell that you associate with your loved one and you smell it very strongly all around you and nobody else can smell it, you know that that's for you. Now, I have that a lot with cigarette smoke because my dad smoked and, you know, I smell it, especially if I'm feeling worried or anxious or, you know, I'm missing him or I need extra guidance. I'll know that he's there. If I'm feeling a bit ill and worried, I, I smell smoke so that he lets me know that he's there. It's a comfort feeling. Sometimes I smell Old Spice because he used to wear that aftershave. And it can be a smell of some kind. It could be a cooking smell. Maybe you and your loved one used to bake cakes or bake cookies or bake something that was significant to you. That smell will just let you know that everything's okay. It will give you comfort. It will help you to feel special and know that you are not alone. Sign number eight is signs and synchronicities. And, you know, there are no coincidences in this life. This is a powerful universe. It's a universe of signs and synchronicities. And the universe is always speaking to you through the things that you see with your physical eyes, the things that you sense, the things that you taste, the things that you touch, and the things that you hear. Trust in all of your senses to know the truth. And if you're asking for guidance, if you're connecting with a loved one, if you need to know that you are safe, they will show you, again, setting up synchronicities, a certain song that answers your question, a sign that reminds you of them, something magical. And the angels in the universe and heaven get very, very specific when they want you to know something. They get very adventurous in their signs and they can be mischievous as well. So it could be something that makes you smile, something that makes you laugh. It will always be something that uplifts you. It will never be negative in any way. It will never create fear. When you connect with heaven, it's always a loving feeling. And that takes me to number nine, which is visitation. Now, it's not often we get visits in, in person from loved ones because, let's be honest, they don't want to freak you out, you know? And I remember when I saw my dad in the chapel arrest, I said to him, come to me anytime, you know, I don't care if you scare me. But I know in physical truth, if he just popped up in front of me, it would scare me, you know? Not him, but the whole feeling of it. And it's different if you're a clairvoyant because you're used to that. But, you know, for the everyday person, if a spirit just popped up in front of you, no matter how close you were to them in real life, it would scare you a little bit. So it's very rare that, you know, loved ones will just pop up and visit you in like that. It would happen gradually. You would see them in a dream or they would come and visit you in a daydream. And this happened to my mum when it was about six months or so after my dad passed away. He visited her and she said it was like she was in a trance-like state. She was in between sleep and awakeness. And she said the door just kind of lit up in a bedroom and it was all beautiful white. And then my dad walked in and he was radiant how he was in his youth. And he sat on the bed and she said to him, where have you been? And he said, I've been exploring the world. I've been finding things out. I've been on an adventure. And in that moment, she knew with full faith that she was safe and that he was okay. So you'll get signs in magical ways, visits. The angels will show you that you are safe. And the angels will watch over all of these visitations so that you feel peace, comfort and love. They would never appear like you see it in the horror films. They would not, never just, you know, bang on the door and scare you. There would never be any rattling chains or, you know, anything like that going on. That's Hollywood hogwash. The truth is that your loved ones love you and your well-being is more important than anything else. So they watch over you and keep you safe. 
And number 10 is your feelings, the way you feel. If you feel that they are with you, then they are. If you can feel that you are comforted, then you are. The way you feel is everything. You are source energy. You are powerful. You are dynamic. And you are connected with heaven in every moment of every day. Sometimes we don't tune into that because we're not seeing the bigger picture. But we're always connected and you will always feel how you're meant to feel. So if you're how something's happening to you, and maybe if you're in danger or, you know, maybe if you're feeling a bit nervous, you'll get a gut instinct about what you need to do. And most of the time, that's angels or your loved ones guiding you by the way you feel. So trust in the way you feel always. It's a great sign that you are loved and supported from heaven. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I just wanted to give you 10 beautiful ways your loved ones and the angels show you that they are with you, comforting you, showing you that, you know, we're all energy, we're all one. There is no end. There is no beginning. It's all energy. So trust that you are loved and supported and that you are safe and that your loved ones are with you right now. If, if you want to connect more with your loved ones, ask the amazing Archangel Azrael to help you connect with them. And they will give you signs. You don't have to be a medium. You don't have to go and see a psychic. You're a medium and a psychic anyway. So tune in with heaven and know that you are loved. If you've liked this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and join our family we are here for you every day bringing in love light peace and harmony have a beautiful day and i'll see you soon